Hey, I should just do that at the start of every stream. Because it works. I'm confident it works like 100% of the time. I am like serious that I think it works every single time I do that. And that just makes it more accessible for everybody when there's quality options. So I literally at the start every night I should just start my stream up and like just immediately go offline and then go back online. I don't know if it would work if I did it immediately. Maybe I'd have to do like the 10 minute countdown and then after the 10 minute countdown then do it? I don't know. I could experiment with it because that's just so stupid that it... They like, they specifically are limiting like affiliates and other streamers that aren't partnered to make room for more bandwidth or whatever freaking crap they got going. You think it would be more... You think it would be easier for them to have quality options for everybody? Because then you could, then everybody could be watching at lower res, which would be less bitrate on their end of the spectrum. So I don't. But it seems to work every single time when I go offline and then back online without without fail. I should truly just do that from now on. All right, what's some good games on the Steam sale? I actually almost, in fact, it's probably in my freaking cart right now. I almost bought the Steam Link. Because Steam's discontinuing this. They're not making any more. No, it is in my cart. They're not making any more of these. And I'm like, should I just get one? It's like $2.50. Now, that'd be, that'd be great. However, shipping is like $8. Shipping costs more than the actual product. And I don't know if I'd ever use this thing. What does it do? It, uh... You hook it up to your PC, and then you can... Wait, how does it freaking work? You connect it to a television, pretty much. So you can like remote play your Steam games on any TV in the house, pretty much. I don't know exactly how it works. It's like got a wireless signal or something. I seriously don't know how it works. <laughs> but uh, I mean, everybody seems to like it and use it. But I don't know. It, it pretty much just emulates your PC to a TV. So you can do anything on your TV. It's not just Steam. You could like watch Netflix on your television via your PC. But what TV doesn't have Netflix built into it anymore, you know? I don't know, it's ten bucks, and I... Money's been kind of tight lately, and I don't think I'd... I don't know if I'd ever use this, so I don't really know if I'd want to buy it. The only reason why I'm thinking about getting it is because, like I said, Steam's not making it anymore. This is their last run. After this, they're not going to sell, they're not going to manufacture anymore. Like I said, though, it'd be freaking like ten dollars. No yeah, I don't know if I'm willing to buy that, especially when Black Friday's here, and I might be spending money on things. But... I think I'll be okay. Cause the Steams, the the reason why they're stopping manufacturing of those. Is because they're gonna like bring it to mobile. I don't know how exactly they're doing it. Ginger, stop! They're gonna like let you stream your PC via your mobile to like I don't know how it's gonna freaking work. Huh? But I don't know if I'd ever use it. It'd just be a waste of space, a waste of money. So just whatever. I don't need it. Okay. Man, why do why do some of these games look so good? And then they're just not. Like, this looks great. Oh, it's freaking early access. Of course it is. Oh, 
Like, like I said, it's not just big picture mode. It just streams your PC completely to a to a set, to like any TV in the house. So you can do anything on your PC in the house on a TV separate from your PC, which is not beneficial to me because I just don't do that. Why is this a coming soon? It comes out like this month. Why is there no price bar? Why do games do this nowadays, you know? I don't understand. Look, it's on my... There's a price listed here. It comes out in five freaking days, yet on my wish list, it doesn't display the price. It just says coming soon. Why is that? Why is that a thing now? I never used to do that. Like, Secure Shadows Die Quiet Twice, that's coming soon. And there's a price listed. That comes out next year, and there's a price listed. Why doesn't this have the price listed? And you can't add it to cart unless you click the product. I don't get that. What is the what is the weird science behind that? Not a lot of good games coming out soon, huh? I can't believe this discount. Sniper Elite 4 is $15. Originally $60. That's one heck of a friggin' discount. That's 80% off. What is Rebel Galaxy? It's freaking $4? Open world adventure, sci-fi, space. That sounds, that sounds just great, man. I'd probably buy it and then never play it. <laughs> wow, it looks so freaking good, though, man. This looks so good. And it's $4. Here's the thing, I think it's one of those games where you, like, choose what you want to do. I'd probably be like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Slow start. Oh. Yeah, I probably wouldn't play it then. <laughs> That's my ADD. Jinjo, stop! I have some games on my wish list I need to get rid of that I just don't want. I don't know why I put some of these on my wish list. Like, what the F is Void Runner? Holy frick, this looks great! Biomutant coming out. 2019. Okay. Why is Metro Exodus clear down here? This should be like one of my top one of games. Is there a price? You can pre-order it. Um, yeah. Metro Exodus. Put that at the number one spot right now. Ion Maiden gonna be like out of early access. I want to play this so bad, but I am not going to until it's out of early access. Gosh, ah, this game looks good. Look how good it looks. Look at all these black screens, man. So amazing. I think Steam might getting bogged down at the moment. Yeah, when was 
be released in that 2019. Wow, I got a lot of freaking games on my wish list, don't I? Oh, The Witcher Throne Breaker. I'll buy that one day when it goes on sale. I heard it's really good. Let's rearrange my freaking top. Definitely want Resident Evil 2 the most. Metro, Dark Siders. Oh wait, Sekiro should be way up there as well. I think I want Sekiro like second most, honestly. I hate how there's no price listed next to him. Because like if someone's like gonna view like I'm gonna gift Austin a game and they view the wish list, they're not gonna see that these games are able to purchase yet. That's really annoying. That's really annoying. I'm really worried about Darksiders 3. I'll just wait for the reviews. Like, I love one, I love the Darksiders game, but, uh... I don't know, 3 seems like it might not be that great. Seems to be... <sighs> Troubled development. Alright. So apparently I've seen, I've been seeing news about uh, Twitch cracking down on licensed music, like hardcore. Like you'll be getting DMCA strikes on your Twitch channels if you play licensed music. So Twitch is becoming YouTube in terms of their freaking reinforcements. Kind of nervous. Most of my music's just, but that's the thing. What's what's licensed and what's not? Like everything's licensed nowadays, right? Like what the frick? Like video game music's licensed, so what does that mean? All right, chat. Cross your fingers. This freaking works. Kind of worried because I just had display capture on my main scene. I removed the scene, or I moved. I removed display capture, but it was in my main scene, so I'm kind of worried. Maybe I should like switch scenes just to like refresh it. Oh, I need to turn game capture on. You Dumbo. It really is. I think it is the European bullcrap that's caused the hubbub. That new European law that's going to destroy everybody's livelihood. Upgrade now. What do I have to upgrade to? I wonder if the I wonder if the single stick player crap's any good. Wait, you can't. What is it? Just one war story? How do you like select the war stories? Is it just one story? Oh, you get a unique melee weapon if you beat this. Oh, here it is, War Stories. Uh, maybe I'll get into that. Let's see. Let's see.
It's so crazy how, uh, it's like the more popular a, a platform becomes, the stricter it gets, the stricter and stricter and stricter it gets. It's just always been the case, man. Like, YouTube just used to be this just joyous thing where anybody could do anything on it. And when more and more money gets involved, more and more rules start to apply. Because they can't anger the, in the investors, they can't anger the advertisers. So they've got to go, they got to just get down and down and down and down and down and stricter and stricter based on their rules and preferences. They have to appease everybody. And like, then it just becomes like this shell of its former self. It's just all, and then, then Twitch comes along and now it's doing the same thing. It's like, gosh, man, you can't do anything on these platforms anymore. And that's the thing, it's like, oh, Twitch needs a competitor, YouTube needs a competitor. Even if a competitor comes along, and if they start doing well, the same thing will happen to them. They'll have to restrict and restrict and restrict until it's like the same thing. Take control of the enemy objectives! Oh! I'm not really a big fan of this level. Well done. We have taken objective wow, I just, I just instantly evaporate. I just don't <laughs> I mean, like I just maps. Died. That was nuts. That have such restricted uh, flow. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, it has just very restrictive approaches. Like, your choices are one hallway or another hallway. I really, really prefer the open field maps in Battlefield. That's when it shines the most, I think. These are always just like bottlenecks, stalemates. Erste Hilfe, greif zu! Of 
I can't revive you, dude. I'm sorry. What the frick are you doing, bird? On that. You have this to chew on specifically suited, tailored for your needs. Chew on that. You guys need air support anywhere? I'm in a dive bomber. Oh, taking fire. Now I need a gunner. Try in between B and C. What are you doing? What is your problem right now? Alright, I'm back, uh, cleared for the moment. I can help on the ground again. Where are you guys at? You see. You actually have to gather ammo? I didn't even know that was a thing. I thought you picked it up automatically. You actually have to push E on it. Guns weren't doing anything there. No, 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 no. I did not mean to freaking revive him there. Jeez. Killed that dude easily. Yeah. 
Does anyone know what the button is by default? You hit to drop bombs in the Stuka? It says it comes with them, but I'm not seeing them. guys typically have on Thanksgiving? Turkey or ham? We have turkey, and I wish we had ham instead, because ham is way better than turkey. Squad leader? <laughs> Chad's pretty funny right now. I'm not the squad leader. Dang it, I wish I was a squad leader. I, people just don't know how to be a squad leader in this game. It's really annoying. They never give commands. They never do requests. Hey, he just did a command. Good job, dude. Two turkeys and one ham. How many people do you guys have at a freaking family gathering? That's a lot of food. Uh, our gathering's like 20-something people. 